what's up gang <laughs> i hope everybody is well much love and shout out to my youtube family my discord slash patreon gang i love you all so much for your endless support y'all know y'all don't be playing about mama magical <laughs> and what's up to all those who have just found my channel feel free to get to know more about me at my website magicalflowerstarot.com oh look at that flame that flame is high y'all <laughs> on the tea candle uh, or you can text or call the number at the beginning of the video and at the end of the video so y'all listen i've seen the comments shout out to my instagram family too y'all y'all get over to my instagram magicalflowerstarot.com and join the discussions over there but y'all listen i've seen the comments y'all see my posts on instagram about will smith y'all believe this is true y'all poor will <laughs> <laughs> poor real because guess what whether it's true or not damn right what a friend right so i don't believe the official tasha k interview has dropped yet but we have definitely most of us have seen that clip with these wild alleged allegations from his ex-best friend slash assistant y'all so according to jada she spoke on it said this man has been bitter he tried to do a money shakedown on them before and um it did not work uh, he did not accept the payment. I guess he had some parts in the book that Will Smith wrote, the biography, and he wanted some money. The money that they offered was good enough. So now he is trying to run his mouth, y'all. So we're going to see. we just going to let the spirit speak, y'all. I got my deck. we just going to see what comes out, y'all. So let's see. Let's see the energy around this situation as a whole. Will Smith, Will Smith. Um... His ex best friend slash assistant. Show us the energy that surrounds this situation. The current time they reveal to us the things that are, that is the truth and what's happening. Up, oh, look, the cards already coming out. Look at this, y'all. Y'all know my spears don't play. So career right off the bat comes out. Hell no, break up. Mm, so this is very interesting. We didn't even get a chance to finish shuffling the cards. So right out, the spirits are already speaking. Hard work pays off, okay? Energy could involve boss or co-worker. So we know that. Not only was he a personal friend to Will Smith, he was also his assistant. He worked for Will Smith. But we have a strong hell no. So we're going to pull some cards and see, get a little bit of detail of what this hell no talk about. Talking about, we're going to jump to the to the tarot in a minute and break up. So we know it's a breakup. It's a friendship breakup. They are no longer friends. They are no longer co-workers. All of that is completely severed. Those ties are cut, and it looks like it's very, very bitter, y'all. So come through spirits. The spirits are already speaking. I, let me officially break the cards, child. <laughs> Let's break the cards. I'm just going to pull a couple of more, see what comes out, y'all. Then we got a strong hell yes, hell yeah, and hell no. Secrets, hell yeah, energy. So I was just... Mm. So let me tell y'all, for those that got this deck, I've said this before on previous videos, right? So anytime a no and a yes comes out or a hell yes, it can end up a hell yes and a hell no. It can indicate some sort of confusion or embellishment. I'm telling some truths, but then I'm laying something else on it. Like, you know, I'm, I'm adding my own story, my own narrative, my own perspectives or whatever. And there is definitely secrets definitely secrets and spirit is talking about intuition and spiritual discretion as well so take what you will and take what you want take the meat and spit out the bones some of their some of that um he is speaking the assistant the ex-assistant is saying some of what he's saying is true what's true we gonna see how true we will see um the month so we have a timeline y'all so more things are going to reveal he's not done talking um he's going to talk as long as he wants to and long as long as he is not being legally shut up so um may happen next month or in a few months come through spirit happiness there's some depression there happiness reverse and self-care i do feel like will does need to um he needs to have supportive people around here him you know jada did say you know he laughed about the situation but we know people laugh from crying you guys especially comedians comedians are usually the saddest people in the world level up so somebody trying to come up y'all boss up promotion upgrade going to the next level who y'all think trying to level up the assistant right because will is already leveled up like that's just common sense do you boo close your mouth keep it to yourself secrets you talking too much this guy nonetheless he needs to be quiet because somebody was saying now i'm not a legal professor 
professional. But some people are saying it doesn't matter if it's true. There's something called defamation. You just cannot go out there maliciously talking about people's personal business, which can potentially cause them harm, stress, loss of work, you know, all those things, whether it's true or not. There, you know, and I'm sure Will Smith and them, they got the money to get the best legal counsel. So it doesn't always matter if it's true or not. But somebody let me know in the comments what they know about that. The difference between, oh, I can tell it because it's true. Or when we think about, you know, what the law of defamation talks about in depth. So y'all let me know because I know I got to have some of my legal my legal people down in my comments that follow me. So big shout out to y'all. Cleanse me birth. So these are some dirty ass secrets, y'all. <laughs> some dirty secrets nonetheless. Let's see what come out. Celebration. Watching. Somebody's watching you, stalking you, despise to be nosy. Be careful. Competition. Some competitive energy here. Bring it, bitch. Protection. You may need to protect yourself. I think that's for the assistant. He better protect yourself. Family. Check in with your family. The Smith family. Toxic as fuck. And you know it too. Blessings. Blessings are coming. Have faith. Okay, y'all. So, we done let the oracle cards talk. I do want to go to tarot and see what comes out. And, uh, y'all, this could just, this can literally just be a, um, a part one. We can do another, um, we could do a part two, a follow-up part two with this, um, you know, with these going on, y'all, because we know that interview is getting ready to drop with Tasha K. So we're going to see y'all. So wait a minute. I do. Before I jump into the um, tarot, I am going to pull a couple of Oracle cards on them individually. Show me energy surround the um, ex-assistant, ex-best friend. Show me his current energy, spirit, present energy. What is up with him? What's up with his energy? Oh, okay. Spirit ready to talk. The cards are dropping. So let's see. What's going on with him? His energy. Self-care level up so he's the one that's trying to level up he's the one that's trying to level up let's see close your mouth you better close his mouth he revealing too many secrets cleanse reverse so he's kind of dirty there too mm, that's interesting i'm gonna pull three more just to see what fall weeks so he's gonna continue to run his mouth okay let it go he's not letting it go it's reverse sex Mm, so he gonna keep him standing on that right because that's his biggest allegation right there this is what's shaking the energy internet up whether we know these allegations these rumors have been said before you know i know about what uh miss lisa ray said you know what tisha campbell martin Dwayne's husband the person that allegedly was caught in the act with will smith uh, we've heard things about him but it's all still smoke and mirrors at the end of the day because no one had those two parties have not come out and said that this is true for themselves. So, but he's going to continue to stand on that, y'all. <laughs> he's going to stand on that one. You don't say nothing that big and blow up, you and it blows up like that. And usually, you know, you people don't apologize for stuff like that. Celebration, third party, others involved, three way threesome communication. So, what was his? You know, if this is so called true on his end, I wonder what his involvement was. But we don't. Let, let's let's go to Will. I'm going to pull. You know, some some cars on wheel, but nonetheless, you know, his fears are telling him, you know, he needs to kind of close his mouth, close his mouth, because you know, people think Will is, you know, the all American sweetheart, and you know, he's a fan favorite, but y'all don't know who walks with Will and what who stands behind Will either, whether it's true or not. Show us the energy that surrounds um, Will Smith at this time. That was his energy. Oh, okay. Wow. I got a lot of cards to just hit the ground. Okay, so the card that hit the ground was magic is delusional and magic. Black magic. His children, vacation, reverse. So vacation, that means you ain't taking a break from off some loop either. So he's feeling like, you know, there's some delusional energy there. I feel like it's on both of their parts, though. Because I definitely, for a second, do not believe Will Smith is very innocent in his ways. Who who, who else is? You know, who else? I mean, who who is totally um, innocent? So we're definitely not saying that. But the children... So it's interesting that children card has come up. Let me pull one more. And family... Mm, so he is worried about his family. He's going to do what he have to do to protect his children. And absolutely, I feel like Will Smith dabbles in, you know, 
if you want to call it the dark arts, you know, magical working, spiritual work, root working, I definitely believe that he is tapped into that. We know that they, him and his wife are tapped in to um, unconventional different practices and things, um, if that's what you would like to call them. But there is some, mat I do feel, like I said, when I see the delusional card, Mm, some of these cards are coming out as the same too. So when I see that delusional card, I do feel like there's an air of delusion. And I do feel like Will feels like that man is delusional and he's very entitled. He's not telling the complete truth. Um, but once again, I do feel like there are some definitely secrets on Will Smith's end. But the surprise card, when it comes out reverse, that usually could indicate an unpleasant surprise. Or it's like, damn, I'm not surprised because this man already tried to extort me. He already tried to get some money for the book. I offer, according to Jada, I offered him some money for the book. Whatever, whatever business he did with him, he did not want to accept what I tried to give him. So now, look what he's doing. He kind of, he kind of already indicated. They said on another interview that he did off taught another interview. I think before Tasha K, you know, trying to extort them. So he's not too surprised like that. Mm -mm. I feel like this energy not, is not about an unpleasant surprise, more about I'm not surprised because you tried this before, some weeks before. So we're going to see, y'all. Will Smith going to keep doing him, and he got the watching and somebody's watch. He's got the watching card, too. Somebody's stalking you, being nosy, and soulmate reverse. So soulmate is not always romantic. Um, it could definitely be a friendship. And when it's reversed, it's, once again, it's like there is confusion, there is discord, there's disassociation there. That's the severance of ties and break up. And if this is your breakup, a fucking liar, you are getting lied to or you are the liar. So this is Will's energy. This is what he feels towards the other guy. But once again, there is some embellishment here. Spirit is telling me, you know, that, you know, the guy didn't totally lie about everything. We have yet to see the rest of the interview though, right? So we'll see. <clears throat> so let me pull some, let me pull some, de some let, let's get some more detail. Let's pull some cards from the tarot just to see if we can tie some things together here. But yeah, Will Smith, he's standing on his stance too. The man is delusional and he's a liar. And it doesn't matter if I, whoever I had sex with is none of your business to tell who is that harming. You know, so let's see. Will Smith, Will Smith, Will Smith. Yeah, show us his energy here. How is he feeling towards his assistant at this current time? Of course, he's not happy about the interview. You know, that would be common sense to tell you that. But let's see how else he's feeling on a deeper level with things. Woo child, what do y'all think? What do y'all feel about this situation? Okay, he gonna defend himself, the hangman. Oh, he's definitely gonna defend himself and he does have a fight for him, five of wands. Five of wands and then we have the sun card um, and then we also have the hangman. So it definitely, hang. anytime that hangman drop, we know that this talks about some sort of major change in, in you know, shift and some sort of dynamic. And I believe that dynamic is Will Smith and his best, his ex-best friend, you know. And then if you look at the supporting card, which is the five of wands, we know that they're, they're battling right now. There is a fight, you know, between the two of them. But I feel like, you know... I hate to see this nine of swords because this does show Will be, being very mentally stressed out about this situation. He's extremely stressed out. He's extremely mentally um, disturbed by all of this. So anytime that nine of swords comes up, it indicates someone having a lot of mental health battles, you know, and who who wouldn't? You know, especially if you had a platform the way that these celebrities do. But then we have the son. He's going to be successful in this fight. If he takes, according to what these cards are telling me, that if he does take this to court, according to Jada, they're definitely taking it to court. He's going to win the son. He's going to win it. He's going to win his defense. Because he's, he's like, listen, you're taking it too far now, you know, and now I'm about to do something about it. And Nine of Wands is very aggressive. with So his approach to this situation with this guy, he may not speak out about it himself like that, but he's going to be very, he's very um, aggressive on the way he's going to defend himself against these allegations. 
the world reverse. Yeah, he's not happy. The hermit. Yeah, he is very disturbed that this man is coming out, you know, and saying all this. And he is pissed about it. King of Wands reverse and Knight of Wands reverse. You know, and we know the Wands energy is about, it, it does um also speak about, you know, sexual activity. You know, he feel like that was not his business to tell. It's how he's feeling and is mentally fucked up. And I do feel like there is some things that Will Smith is battling with about his private life. And I'm going to just say that. Okay, so um, let's see. I would ask, is Will taking legal action? But Jada Smith, she kind of confirmed that already. And I would hope that he would. I'm just saying. That's just a little piece of my personal opinion I'll throw. Not on the cards, but in my, in my side commentary. Because <laughs> I definitely would. Okay, so um, let's look. Let's look. Let's jump over to Dwayne Martin real quick. Let's see how he feels about this. Because he, he like, well, damn, how did I get in it? How did I get in it? This is some business between you and Will Smith. Why you got, why you got to bring my name in it? And to me, that honestly does scream uh, bitterness. That screams bitter. Dwayne Martin, Dwayne Martin. Show us how Dwayne Martin feels, spirit. He said, how did I get in it? Oh, he pissed too. He ready to sue his ass too. Mm, he like, you got me fucked up. You talking about my character. You saying all this stuff about me. I ain't, I ain't got nothing to do with it. So he probably going to end up taking him to court too. He might team up with Will, you know. And I'm sure um, Dwayne Martin has spoken to Will, you know. And um, I feel like he's going to go against him as well. Because that definitely caught him off guard, two of wands. He did not expect it, you know, for that to be, you know, the main point of somebody else, another man and his business problems, you know. But this two of cups, I do feel like, you know, that him and Will did have some sort of relationship. Now, I'm not saying that it was fucking, excuse my language, but they did, they were very close and there was feelings involved there. There was some sort of feeling involved there. But yeah, he like, Queen, he like, how did I get in it? You know, regardless of how I felt, you know, whatever, but I am, I'm going to pull some cards just to see what comes out between the dynamic between Will Smith and Dwayne Martin. So y'all just, you know, hold tight with that. But as far as the way that Dwayne Martin feels about old dude bringing up his name, he does not like it. Five of Wands is the first card that fell down. And he plans on defending himself as well. Judgment reverse. He does not feel in that. And he's, a, he's fucked up about it because he's like, damn, these, I'm trying to move forward in my life. And y'all keep on bringing up these damn rumors. Y'all, allegedly, y'all keep on bringing up these, you know, what happened in my past. Six of Swords talks about a painful past as well. So it seems like he's been battling, you know, these rumors about himself. So this is a sore spot when it's brought up. Of course, he's going to be pissed and defensive, whether it's true or not. So I just wanted to pull some cards on that. <laughs> he was not, um, he was not feeling that, his name being brought up. Um, so there's something else I wanted to ask. Uh, show us the energy between Will Smith and Dwayne Martin. What was the energy like between them in the 90s? They like, yeah, remember Lisa Ray said something about, you know, Dwayne Martin and how, you know, he would, you know, I guess she's like, she was blaming him at a time for the divorce that Lisa Ray had with her husband because supposedly Dwayne Martin was hooking up her husband with other women. But then she turned around, they said in a recent interview, Lisa Ray supposedly said that she would marry, well, she would date Will Smith right now. So you think she would date some man that was having sexual relations with other men? We'll never know. Show us the energy and the dynamics between Will Smith and Dwayne Martin in the 90s. I don't see no romance like that in these cards. I don't. It looks like they fell out. It looks like they, if anything, it, show, it shows to me that at once, at one point in time, they were really close, but then something changed. There was some sort of shift. And it's like they fell out with each other, especially with this Wheel of Fortune and the Three of Pentacles. I do feel like it has something to do with the alleged rumors as well. Mm, page of swords 
Mm-hmm. Page of Swords, it does talk about, you know, rumors, messages, communication. You know, it's a very talkative card. Page of Wands reversed. I don't I don't see in the cards at least. I don't see what I would want to see that even there's not even like an inkling of romance. I'll pull some more for y'all. Okay, so they okay. <laughs> okay, so Seven of Cups does talk about smoke and mirrors and delusions, you know, and things being what they, you know, um, things may not be what it seems to be. It talks about choices and decisions, but it's reversed. So that's interesting to me because usually when something is reversed, the truth is very clear when it comes to the Seven of Cups. And then we have the Ten of Cups. I don't know, y'all. I just don't see nothing that I would say like, oh, yeah, they was fucking or they had some sort of, you know, relationship. You know, whatever, some sort of romantic, extra close romance. But I don't even see that in these cards, y'all. I don't see it, y'all. Y'all see, I done pulled about 12 cards out. I don't see it. It looks like they had a time back in the day, though. But it, it doesn't, I don't see nothing that indicates, you know, um, some sort of romantic relationship between the two of them but we'll see how things play out okay i said was something i feel like i'm missing y'all but it's okay because this is just kind of like a little introduction reading we're going to continue to follow this y'all we're going to continue to follow this but i feel like i'm missing a question what did i want to ask hmm okay so i will ask this was there any truth at all to what the to the claims that were made by the ex assistant best friend? Did he tell any truth? Now remember, embellishment had came out. Okay, so in the cards, like some of it was true, some of it was it. So yeah, he told some truths because he did speak about the past. You know, some of these little tower moments that he brought up was truth. But the point of it all is that that man, I almost said that n word, <laughs> that man did not get paid off the way he wanted to get paid off by will and that is definitely why we have the tower moment right here he is running his mouth and it's all about bitterness and soreness of the past anytime we see five of cups show up it does talk about somebody cannot get over the past usually when we see that bridge okay y'all i'm over here acting like this my tarot class y'all can join my patreon if y'all want to <laughs> If y'all want to learn tarot, I definitely teach tarot classes over there. I'm going to stop talking so much about explaining these cards on here because I know y'all like the tea. Y'all ain't trying to learn tarot on here. So Five of Cups does talk about, you know, somebody having some regretful energy of the past. It talks about sadness, bitterness. You see that bridge. That bridge is there. It's like to represent, build a bridge and get over it. But somebody is moping and, you know, wallowing in the past so much. Like they just can't, you know, get it. You, they can't get over it. You know, the Queen of Pentacles, he's very invested in the past. This guy is very invested. But the to me, the root of it is money. And that's why we have in this tower moment, we got this one major arcana card. And that sets the tone. So we know that this is a tower moment, you know, that's coming that's coming out. And um, it's a shock. It's a, still a shock. Even though these rumors have been out for a while, it's still a shock. shock. A lot of people are still kind of taken back that this man would come out and be so bold, you know, with these claims like that. Mm. There we have the full energy right here, too. Mm -hmm. So he's he's telling the truth about some of this, you know, but it's so sad because the root of, you know, like they say, the root of all um, evil be money. So damn, y'all. So before we completely close out, this man trying to get paid off big time, my love. But at what cost? What cost, right? What would this cost this man? He's like, this man, they said this man planned on moving. <laughs> he plans on moving to a whole nother country. They said he is done in Hollywood. And that's why, you know, he's so comfortable with running that mouth. Okay, so let's just see any closing messages regarding this situation. I kind of want to pull some mystic love cards. Some love cards between Dwayne Martin. You know, just to see. I don't know. I may pull one. But let me just see if we can get some. 
I don't know. After y'all, I'm going to the Mystic Love deck. I just want to see <laughs> what comes out between the two of them. Dwayne Martin, Dwayne Martin, Will Smith, Will Smith, Dwayne Martin. Let's lay this. Let's get some answers once and for all. Let's just see what falls out. Ooh, okay, so what's this? Healing is needed. That's the card that came out. I do feel like their relationship has been affected as friends. Earth sign. Who is the earth sign? Flirting. I'm going to pull one more. It's the flirting is reversed. Women. Divorce. Baby. Okay. So, like I said, y'all, <laughs> we do have flirting reverse, right? Um, I do feel like these rumors have caused strain on the both of their relationships. Will Smith, well, I don't think Will Smith and Jada has gotten an official divorce, but I believe Tisha Martin and Dwayne, Tisha Martin Campbell, Tisha Campbell Martin, however you hyphenate her last name, and Dwayne Martin have gotten a divorce. So this situation, these allegations and their friendships together has caused problems in their marriages individually if that makes sense. And there was healing that was needed. There was a lot of trauma that happened. Come on now, that was young back in the 90s. They was probably into all types of shit, right? We already know. And there was no Instagram and all that stuff and Twitter back in that day. It says flirt in reverse. I don't, y'all, I'm telling y'all, like, I don't see, I don't, just not, at least now. The spirits ain't willing to talk about it now with us, about their relationship like that, but... I just don't see any, you know, indication. And I ain't going to make nothing up to make it sound good. So, but we're going to see, y'all. Sometimes people have spirits. And I will say, Will Smith, his spirits are strong. They do, they safeguard him. And one thing about spirits, when you read, some people have heavy spirits. That some people's spirits are so protective, they can shield information from any diviner. You know, so if it, it did happen, it's not, they're not willing to talk to our nosy asses about it. So that. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't willing to talk to us about it right now. But once again, if y'all do want a part one, part two reading, we can definitely do that. And make sure y'all come over to my ancestor class. I'm going to keep reminding y'all because when I do it already, y'all going to be hitting me up talking about Mama Magical. Did you do your ancestor class? Like y'all always do. <laughs> did you do the class yet? I missed it. Oh my God. So anyway, y'all, we're going to pray for all parties involved. Whether this is true or not, y'all, it's, it's a messed up situation. I think we could all at least agree on that part so let me know how y'all feel down in the comments keep it cute or keep it on mute because i will be checking and my gang don't play <laughs> no nah, y'all but it's all love i love you all so we'll see y'all let me know if we're doing a part two or not peace and blessings i say